Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity and good afternoon to you. I was asked to describe how this all took place. Well, R R Russell got the idea because we always try to benefit someone. And this is law enforcement, as you can see, and the military forces. This is Michael the Archangel, patron saint of, the, of these people. Um, we were going to put badges, we were going to put a wall, we were going to do this, we were going to do that. I did a lot of sketches, we went around in circles, and then I decided that I wanted to go with a classic piece. Years ago, I did a centurion guard for Russell, but I did it in plaster, and we put it inside of a glass case, and it leaked in the case, and of course, the thing expanded, contracted, and Russell said, get over here, he said. That thing it had as much detail as this. It had a helmet. The guy was like this with a shield and a sword. When I got there, the arms had fallen off. The head had fallen down. So, of course, we had to get rid of that. Since then, I learned a little something about making a reverse mold and making it like we have it now, which is a stone mix with poly resin. Um, the, one of the companies that helped me very much involved in this that made that reverse mold and their fabricators is Buffalo Architectural Plastering Design. They did this in front of the Shays Buffalo and they do a lot of uh, gorgeous uh, buildings that and, and, and homes that are wealthy people that like this kind of ornateness from that period. Uh, this is uh, in my psyche, it's been in my mind for, seems like forever, a good year. But again, I'd like to thank Russell, because without him, we wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank my wife, because without her, then I would not hear the criticism that, what do you think you're doing? And I, I wouldn't be able to function. I have two beautiful daughters, Dana and Dawn, and my beautiful wife Adele, and they're always behind me, and uh, Charlie, ask me a question, I'll tell you no lies. Well, Mr. Perino, we know you've created quite a few of uh, the selections here at Patriots and Heroes Park. Yes. Uh, you've had a long collaboration with uh, Mr. Salvatore uh, for many, many years, and this is just one of the latest. Uh, Michael the Archangel. Uh, can you describe some of the other statues that you've been uh, involved with here uh, at the park, the m memorials? Uh, I did a painting that was in City Hall. I did it the day that we, in 9-11, we got hit, our buildings collapsed. The next day I went into my shop and I started painting a semi-abstract, uh, very emotional piece and we put it in City Hall for two months. At, at, when I first put it in, I put it in front of Teddy Roosevelt. And, oh my God, oh, you moved Teddy Roosevelt. And everybody got all upset until they came down and they saw it and they started crying and, and it was that emotional, it was that emotional time. I, guess, I got so much reaction from it, I decided to do those statues the 9-11 statues, which are seven statues, that the dog, there's the guy down on his knees finding something. There's this the one uh, uh, fireman holding his brow like this. You could see the garbage that was in their eyes. I worked hard on that. And those statues were supposed to go to New York. Of course, they did one of these things, politics got involved, and as you know, it took eight, nine years for them to finally put up this skyscraper, which I got involved in that as well. And everybody said, are you nuts? You're going nowhere with that. There's 5,000 people from out, throughout the world that are trying to get this, these, do these buildings. Well, I put it in, and um, I got a call the next day. Mr. Perino, yes. We're interested in your travelator. Uh, the travelator was a circular tube that went through seven of my buildings, and it had a moving sidewalk. It had a focal point, and it had the steel in the middle that was oversized, and it had these buildings that went around in, in a corkscrew like this, and they were raked back like this. I got the idea from looking at an orange. 
having said that, I said, oh, she asked me, she said, would you be interested in doing it without uh, getting too involved in other parts of the, of the project because we might be interested in someone else as far as the building is concerned. I said, my buildings have correlation. They look alike. So she said, we're interested in the Travelator. Would you be interested in doing that? I said, I'd be interested in anything. And she said, fine. What company are you with? I said, myself. Well, are you an architect? No, I'm a designer. Well, aren't you with an architectural firm? No. Uh, that's going to be tough, Mr. Perino. Why is that? You could have uh, invented the Taj Mahal. It wouldn't fly down here. The Port Authority would never go for it. They want somebody that they could get involved with. And you saw what happened. It took eight, nine years to finally get the building going. I will say this. I was invited to the final hundred. That's 5,000 throughout the world. Uh, and I was down there with Adele and I think uh, Peter and his wife and um, Peter O'Shear and Jerry. And we were there and who walks in, but this might be interesting to you, uh, but uh, Trump, Donald Trump. So all the people that were listening to this one German outfit that was doing a building that was ridiculous, he came in and said, they made fun of my building, which is on Fifth Avenue, and they said it was garish. They're trying to sell us on this corkscrew thing with this piece of steel sticking out, because we don't know anything. And he turned around and I had this big rendering and he goes, what's wrong with that? And I was standing right there, and he goes, yeah, the problem with this is it makes sense. And uh, everybody oohed and odd, and he started a whole commotion. Well, that never flew. The building they got now is not the same. The waterfall, they're not the same. If you look at my renderings, you'll see that it's close to what they're doing. But that's here and there. I don't want to get, get sued because I'm saying something. But... Hey, what is this? Well, Mr. Perino, this uh, this sculpture today is probably one of the f nicest. It's comparative to anything that I've ever seen in Europe. Uh, uh, that's very perceptive of you because it, it is uh, uh, copied from that style. In fact, the one that I liked and I made numerous sketches of is uh, St. Michael. In, it's in France. Well, thank you, sir. I'm sure the uh, this is going to live on, and Mr. Salvatore uh, has leaned on uh, your your design and talent well, for many years. And I it's, just uh, I just would like to say this. Look, <sighs> I've been blessed because when you're an artist, a lot of artists I knew when I was a kid, they could draw. But they became barbers, they became this, they became that. They never followed up on it. My, I had a, an insatiable appetite to become uh, an artist of some degree, do something. And I started doing clubs, and I started doing restaurants, and I started doing uh, doctor's offices. I did everything that there was to be done. But when I ran into Russell, I did a lot of work with Jimmy Cosentino. Those days, it was pretty classy stuff. But when I ran into Russell, he and I were the same person. It's like we were made from the same fabric. He and I were temperamental. We wanted to get ahead. He wanted to get ahead. He wanted to be the best there is. And I wanted to be the best. Well, I would say, here's what you want to do. And I would be up all night, sketch everything, make a rendering, and be tacky. I'd give it to him. Is it going to look like this? No, it's going to look better. Oh, okay, next day we're in the ground, we're putting in the footer, and in comes, because it got back to them, the town. Russell, are you nuts? Jesus, you, you can't be building. Where's, where's, where's the building permit? Don, didn't you give him the building permit? Oh, I, I forgot. I, I, I got it at home. Naturally, I went home, laid everything out, quarter inch equals a foot, made a schematic drawing, this and this and this. And the next day, boom, I brought it back 